During the end times, seven-year tribulation God will pour out his wrath as judgment for the world's sin and as a final call for humanity to repent and worship him. God gave John a vision of this time, which he recorded in the book of Revelation. A large part of God's judgment is described in three series of sevens, the seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven bowls. The second of these series, the seven trumpets, is described in Revelation 8, 6, 9, 21, and 11, 15, 19. According to book of Revelation 8 verses 6 to 7. And the seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood, and they were cast upon the earth. And the third part of trees was burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. There is no need to spiritualize this. It means just what it says. These things have happened before, why not again? It is the fulfillment of Joel 2 verses 30 to 31, where the Lord says that in the latter days he will dash, shoe wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. The day when he shall come to take vengeance on his enemies. The Lord is going to repeat the plagues of Egypt. They were literal, why not the trumpet and vile judgments? The literalness of these judgments give us the key to the literalness of the book of Revelation. No less than five of the nine plagues of Egypt are to be repeated during the tribulation period. This plague is the same as the seventh Egyptian plague. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch forth thine hand toward heaven, that there may be hail in all the land of Egypt, upon man, and upon beast, and upon every herb of the field, throughout the land of Egypt. And Moses stretched forth his rod toward heaven, and the Lord sent thunder and hail, and the fire ran along upon the ground, and the Lord rained hail upon the land of Egypt. So there was hail, and fire mingled with the hail, very grievous, such as there was none like it in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation. And the hail smote throughout all the land of Egypt all that was in the field, both man and beast, and the hail smote every herb of the field, and brake every tree of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, was there no hail. Exodus 9 verses 22 to 26 the difference between this Egyptian plague and the plague of the first trumpet is that the situation will be reversed. Then the children of Israel escaped, now they will suffer. The judgments of Egypt were directed against Pharaoh, the judgments of the tribulation period will be directed against Israel. The Egyptian plague of hail was clearly a great electrical storm. That did not touch the land of Goshen where the children of Israel dwelt. The fire that ran along the ground was lightning. The difference between the Egyptian plague and the one John describes is that in Egypt man and beast suffered with the vegetation, while only the trees and the green grass will suffer when the first trumpet sounds and the hail and fire will be mingled with blood. In Egypt the hail smote every herb of the field, and broke every tree, but under the first trumpet only one-third of the trees and grass will be burnt up. First trumpet, vegetation struck. At the sound of the first trumpet, there's hail and fire mixed with what John sees to be blood. This wipes out a one-third of the vegetation on the earth Revelation 8 verse 7. What many of these judgments don't show us is the ripple effects they cause. 
A third of the world's vegetation being burned up might not seem like a big deal when we just skim over the passage, but one of the affects of this will be a decrease in the world's oxygen supply. A more obvious effect of such a judgment is food sources that derive from vegetation will be cut by a third and animals that also rely on vegetation as a source of food will be affected. Not only do we see possible decrease in the oxygen on Earth, but also food shortages and famines. If you recall, the third seal judgment brought conditions of scarcity, global famine, to the world so this can add to this Revelation 6 verses 5 to 6. To bring this in relation to current events, as of the posting of this article, September 8, 2019, the Amazon rainforest which is dubbed as the lungs of the earth, as 20% of the world's oxygen derives from this area, has been burning for several weeks. This has since sparked international outcry and increased talks concerning climate change. In an article titled What You Need to Know About the Amazon Rainforest Fires by the Washington Post touches on these fears. The Amazon, nearly four times the size of Alaska, is a vast sink for storing carbon dioxide and a key element of any plan to restrain climate change. Any increase in deforestation there would speed up global warming as well as damage an important refuge for biodiversity. Despite what your thoughts may be on global warming slash climate change in light of what we know in terms of Bible prophecy, this is something worth paying attention to. This event and many like it globally is in my opinion a precursor to the first trumpet judgment. This is where we can see an example of God judging in parts. The first trumpet judgment wipes out a one-third of the vegetation on earth. At first this looks terrible. Some may question how God could enact a judgment like this. However he has the power to wipe out all vegetation on earth at once if he so pleased. The purpose of these judgments is indeed punishment but they're also meant as a wake-up call to those who have yet accepted God's free gift of salvation. The first trumpet, Revelation 8 verse 7, and the first plague, Revelation 16 verse 2, both affect the earth. However, we notice a difference as well. The trumpet message in Revelation 8 verse 7 awakens people to conversion from paganism or nominal Judaism. The first plague of Revelation 16 verse 2 is poured out on the earth as punishment for worshipping the beast and its image. The first trumpet was a clarion message of Christ with the whole gospel. It affected the stable element of society or the earth. God is the I am who I am, not who people expect or want him to be. And who he is, is just. The destruction in Revelation is not the result of a capricious God. It is instead an example of the biblical principle, you reap what you sow, mankind is responsible. And I want you to see and understand something. When the sixth seal judgment occurred it was the first seal with many clear, cosmic signs. When people were confronted so clearly with the truth that God is real and that God is unhappy with them, what did they do? Did they repent? No, they hid from him. And they wanted to kill themselves rather than turn to the Lord. Thank you for watching. Share and subscribe. Comment your opinion.